Meungus, the most powerful combination in Library of Runa. But which part is more stronger, the strongest or Miu's powerus? In this, I'll show you that Miu's powerus is a whole lot better than the strongest. Also, for you Solemn Lament enjoyers, this is for you. Here is the build I will be using. Hope you enjoy. We're hoping the Red Mist targets the Nugget. If it does, we'll use Wrath of Torment and get rid of it. And we're not going to use Miu for anything. We want her to gain the emotion level for me. The sacrifices must be made. Start doing stuff. We're going to take Metallic Ringing to make future clashes easier. So, at the start, you gotta use two dice. Isn't fun, but we gotta hit our emotion levels. So in this situation, I make sure I'm clashing against everything first. And we gotta make sure she doesn't get any focus here. After that, I'm going to take Recognition Pattern. And the reason for it is so we can get her speed up. And maybe the light as well if it comes into a weird situation. Because later on, like I was trying to trigger it at emotion level 4 and was running into light issues. No, I triggered it at emotion level 5, got her into the second phase the turn after and didn't have enough light for the combo. And this turn was a screw you turn. I, I couldn't do a whole lot to it. I was going to have to deal with her vertical split. So I was using the steel knuckles to clash with the other die in order to get a motion coin for it. And I used savage mode here in order to tank it and get the additional damage off we need for the combo. But here is when it's like, no, you don't get enough emotion coins. You gotta wait longer, which was kind of a blessing in disguise because I could just take repressed flex here and deal with her armor rush and deal with her level slash. That bleed from it is so annoying. I lost so many runs because of it. As long as you don't have bleed on you, you win. From here, I took eternal rest to deal increased more damage. And here is the spice. I had to take harmony here. Harmony is the main win condition for this whole strategy. And I got lucky here as well. She did not have enough for her emotion coins, so she didn't give me a full batch of attacks. So this allowed me to set up the smoke for next turn. So I can use Steel Knuckles and Deep Drag. I made sure to counter, counter dive with the Deep Drag so I can get as many emotion coins as possible. So the Steel Knuckles counters is going to give me a lot. Here I took Recharge in order to deal more Stagger damage and increase the damage we need to hit the threshold. And besides, Clean won't help. Leave me alone! In this situation, because plus three power is pretty much nothing, I would much rather take more damage for it. So right here, I'm in a unique situation. I think I can get her into the next phase without Dark Flame, but I wasn't 100% sure. So what I did was made sure I do enough slashing attacks because I don't want to bind her too much because if she has too much bind, she'll go to Infinity Dice. We don't want that. I want to have a die to be able to clash with. And as soon as I realized, oh wait, Steel Knuckles doesn't go over, I went back to Energy Cycle deal with that. Then I did Harmony with the highest speed die on her lowest one in order to get, make sure I get as much strength as possible. And make sure I go into the next phase. Because this was pretty close. Okay, or it wasn't. I just destroyed her. Smoke OP. Now it's for the Dark Flame. And I got really lucky here. Because look at that, she didn't choose the top one. So I'm getting the full benefits of this. And there, here you go guys, what you came for. I got it man, I love that animation. That looks so cool with Muse's strongest. <laughs> 